Folks, welcome to another week of Southern Showcase. Glad to be in your homes as we are every Thursday night. Tonight's show is going to be just a little bit different than what, what you've been used to. We're here live at the Lincoln County Fairgrounds for the Fire Literacy Chili Cook-Off. And they have all kind of uh, things going on down here today. They've had a uh, uh, Little Miss Hot Pepper Chili Hot Pepper Pageant. They've had a car and bike show. They've had uh, Chili Cook-Off. Now, this Chili Cook-Off uh, consists of a lot of sanctioned teams that travel all the way around the states to get points. So they've had that here today, and they have open judges and open uh, categories too. So you're going to be seeing some folks here tonight. So you're going to be uh, talking to the uh, judge, one of the judges of the Chili Cook-Off and the Little Miss Hot Pepper pageant, one of the coordinators of the whole car and bike show, uh, some of the sanctioned teams that travel around, get their points, they'll be here tonight. So we've got a great show ahead of you. Uh, our band's going to furnish the music tonight. We're going to hear some originals from them. And uh, we're going to have a great time. And we hope everybody just stays put. You're going to see some footage. You're going to see some, uh, uh, get to talk to some of the people, get to meet them, and see how this thing goes on and what all goes on with this literacy council here in Fayetteville, Tennessee, in Lincoln County. And you're also going to get to meet a guy from another county of the literacy council that we're going to talk to him. So we're going to be right back. We're going to get in the show. We're going to bring some of these folks in. And we're going to get the show started, but first we're going to hear one, as usual, from our guys. Y'all, y'all ready to get us started? I reckon so. All right. Folks, the Cane Creek Band. Head and Tractor Company in Fable, Tennessee has been this area's John Deere dealer for nearly 30 years, always with the best products, the best prices, and the best people that are John Deere factory trained. And Head and Tractor Company has a John Deere certified service department with a large parts inventory, lawnmowers, garden tractors from the smallest to the largest, new or used, and a huge selection of hay equipment. With special in-house financing, Head and Tractor Company is the John Deere dealer for Huntsville and Winchester and Fayetteville, Tennessee. South of Park City, nothing runs like a John Deere. And folks, we're back with the show with our guest Jimmy Hillis. He is the uh, well, you were the coordinator of the car and bike show today, right? Yeah, that's right. We had a lot of cars. I think it was sixty six today. Man, I tell you, they were some beautiful rides here today. Right, motorcycles too. They were some nice bikes. There was a bike here that had the uh, 
the flag logo, the paint scheme and the eagles and all mm -hmm. that. That was really nice. Right. Nothing like American pride. I know it. How do you go about uh, organizing something like this? I mean, how do you get the word out? What happens? What has to what has to happen to make this thing like, like this work? Well, it, people in the car community all travel together. So if you get word out to one guy, he's probably going to tell three or four of his buddies. And just like the club that came up from uh, – um, from Madison County and all, they they had 15 of them or so, and they just found out last night. They said they had 45 members. If they'd known a little sooner, they probably all would have came. So yeah, you know, that I, helps. One of them told us today, and, and when we were interviewing him, he said we'll have over 50 here next year. Right, right. I think we got an agreement worked out next year. So <laughs> <laughs> they, they, I told them if they send me an email, we'll make sure we got plenty of classes that suit them real well. Because if they're gonna come out and give us a good turnout, we need to try to give them a little. That's right. Personal service. That's right. Let me ask you this: when you when you get into a, a car show like this, how do you come up with the? How do you classify what you want to judge on? How do you get the the group the classes? Right. Well, we started this year. We had uh, started out with sixteen classes. I added one extra today because we just had good turnout, so we threw it in. Uh, we tried to do it as general as possible this year because I, I just felt it'd be irresponsible to have uh, forty classes and have cars show up to fill ten. You know, because the charity's what's what's it? You know, the money's going for. So, you know, it'd be nice to give everybody a trophy for every make of car. Mm -hmm. But at the end of it, the charity wouldn't make any money. So, try to keep it general. Next year, I know it'll grow. Uh, we had quite a few motorcycles. Well, we had probably I don't know what twenty show up after nice the judging spots. was closed yeah. or the registration was closed. So, you know, it was a nice day. So more came out. But you know, you just. Uh, Try to cover what cars you can. So. Yeah, I mean it was a, it was a beautiful day. It was windy. Uh, that had dusty. a little uh, dusty. <laughs> yeah, they dust dusty. your cars off and they get dusty again. So. Yeah, you can. I just now heard in the background more Harleys are coming in. Right. You know, so right. uh, uh, it's it's a uh, it's a great organization. The Literacy Council doing this and all, and uh, you know it's it's a great cause. And and I'm, I really so you know the people come out to support it is unreal. And uh, it's people like you, man, that get this thing together. That That's what really helps. And, of course, you own Acme Body Shop, right? right. Yeah, Acme and, Paint and Body. And, of course, uh, you've been a sponsor of ours here on the show, right. and, and we appreciate your support on that. And it's just like anytime anybody asks you to do anything, you're just there to help. So right. uh, it well, really works I, out. I, I, it's my running joke. I, I'm lucky enough to get paid for, for doing what I enjoy doing for a living. I mean, you know, I, I get paid to do what I enjoy. That's Most right. Most people don't, so I'm lucky. In There's a lot of people out here doing it and have to, you know, don't right. enjoy it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, cars are fun, so yeah. might as well have a good time. Yeah, you brought in some beautiful rides today. We appreciate all your effort, man. Well, I appreciate it, too, and I'm just glad it all went to a good cause. Well, all right. We're going to bring some more people in here in a little while. We're going to bring a judge that was here today in the chili and the, and the uh, uh, Little Miss Hot Pepper pageant. We're going to bring in some uh, Literacy Council people, and uh, we're going to bring in some of the chili teams that are actually sanctioned that travel all over ever the states and stuff to get points. We're going to bring them in, so uh, we appreciate you coming out and helping us with the show. No problem. Glad to. Folks, here are one more from the Cane Creek Band. <laughs> I'm Howard Bentley from Howard Bentley Pontiac GMC, Toyota, Bedville, Tennessee. How can Howard Bentley save you money? It's simple, low overhead. We're out of the high rent district and save our customers money. Lots of money. Don't make a $500 to $1,000 mistake. Before buying a new Pontiac GMC or Toyota, take the short drive to Fedville or call our hotline 1-800-654-1597. Save money on new Pontiac GMCs or Toyotas at Howard Bentley's, Fedville, Tennessee. And, folks, we're back with the show with our other guest tonight, our state representative, Joe Folks. How you doing, Mr. Joe? Yeah, I'm doing just fine. I'm very pleased to be here. Man, I'm so glad to have you down here on the show and at that chili cook-off. I think this is the fifth year that I've done this. I'm not for sure. Well, I think they were telling me you've done it ever since you've every been here year. since they started it. I think that's right. Uh -huh. Well, that's great. I'll tell you, and, and we appreciate you you know, giving up your time and to come down and help us out with it. Well, this is something I do every year about the 1st of March. It's just an <laughs> annual thing. I, and I like chili. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, they've added salsa to the competition, too. I, 
assume they're going to have the salsa competition again this year too. Yeah, they're having that. And uh, I noticed you had a drink of water here a while ago. Where you, you what are you you getting ready? Well, are you finna have to go judge here in a little while, right? That's right. In, in about an, an hour, I'm cleaning my palate uh, with this water. Is that I what you're getting get, ready for? Getting ready. You've got to clean your. That's the first thing you do is clean your palate. So I've I've had two bottles of water so far. So I'm getting ready for it. <laughs> you have to be prepared, right? That's right. And the competition <laughs> gets stiffer every year. Oh yeah, I've been up at the barns today trying you know different ones. And I'd hate to be in your shoes, buddy. Let's I mean, I would hate to know I had to judge it because I don't know how you're going to come to a to a number one tasting chili there. It's just all great. Oh, it is. But we always decide which one is the best. Now, they, they're having different categories of judging, right? That's right. They change the rules around just a little bit each year. I'm not for sure exactly what the rules are going to be this year. Now, but, you uh, know, they are. I know the two up there that are going for the hottest chili. They're offering these challenges where you have to go without drinking. Well. So now you got to try that too? Uh, we, we, yeah, we're going to try that too. That, and I think you all started that last year. Yeah. You? Now, weren't you involved with that? Yeah, yeah. That's what I've been told. It was yeah. great. In yeah. Designs and the Glacier Water, Mist Water Company, they, they uh -huh. put that challenge on yeah. up there. And uh, I've seen some people doing it today, and I feel yeah. sorry for them. I like hot, spicy food. Well, you you, you know, better, because where you you're know, fixing I, the head. <laughs> you know, I put hot sauce on my scrambled eggs for breakfast, so that. <laughs> hey, I do, too. I like oh, it. I do, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. We're going to get on with the show here in a little while, and we're going to get you up there. Uh, you know, we, we, we really appreciate you coming out and helping the Literacy Council, and I know it means a lot to you, the literacy, the whole literacy program of the of, of the whole state really is part of your main issue. That's right, and the Literacy Council here in Lincoln County is probably the most active in the state. Mm -hmm. They do a great job here. They're very dedicated. They are, and the teachers down there and the computer classes and, the, and offering for the GED, I've been down there and I've watched them work, and they've got a real, I mean, they've got a great program here. I just wish the programs were as strong in other counties as they are in Lincoln County. They are really strong. Great mm -hmm. teachers and, and the whole deal down there is just a great Excellent. organization. Man, we got to get on the show. You going to hang around for a while? Well, I'm going to hang around. I can't sing now. I can judge chili, but I can't sing. <laughs> we may go let you go judge, and we may come back and watch you sweat a little. Okay, that'll <laughs> okay. be fine. <laughs> Mr. Joe, appreciate you coming yeah. by. Yeah. Thank you for being on the show. Mm -hmm. Folks, we're going to get on the show. Let's hear one from the Cane Creek Band. <laughs> Building or remodeling? See Fayetteville Lumber Supply, this area's pro building supply store that can help you with your project, whether it be cleanup or fix up. Painting with the image paint line makes it go on so easily with outstanding values every day. For tools, Fayetteville Lumber and Supply has what you need with Senco Air Tools, Makita, Skill, and Stanley Tools. Fayetteville Lumber is your pro home center for Tanko shingles, railroad cross ties, chain link fencing products, and quick crete ready concrete mix. If you need it, Fayetteville Lumber and Supply has it. And folks, we're back with the show with some of our chili cookers here. And we have we have a – I told you about the sanction teams that go around together, points and things. But we also have an open sanction – or open category. And you are with the Lincoln County Realty, right? That's right. Now we're the uh, Lincoln County Realty team that's set up for a second year. And we are the Red Hot Chili Mamas. Red Hot Chili Mamas. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I've been by y'all's booth, and you got a pretty good bunch of mamas working up there, let me tell you. <laughs> you know what? Our broker in our office is good friends with Trace and Rick and all of them down there. And uh, he came in the office one day, and he said, you know what? I bet none of you women know how to cook a pot of chili, and that's an insult to women. You know that. So <laughs> we all teamed up, and a bunch of women got together last year and came down, and uh, it's for a good cause. You know, the, the adult literacy is so important in Lincoln County. Uh, I just wish more people would turn out and just get in there and cook us another big pot of chili. There's so many good cooks in Lincoln County, not just us. We are excellent cooks. We just want to show it off. And y'all are, really. And you know, that's what about this show is it's always about Southern Showcase. We've always showcased musical talent and stuff, but that is a talent, being able to cook and things. That is a talent, and that's, that's what we brought you in here for. We got some of the best chili you'll put in your mouth down there. Some new, a new recipe this year. If you're down here, I want you to stop over. It's a, it's a chili stew. It's something new that I've just kind of invented over the last week or so. We pulled it out of a recipe book, and our team got together, and we've got two different kinds of chili this year. So we're real tickled, and we also have a salsa that we've entered. 
I think ours is going to be the winner. You think so? Yep. Well, all right. We'll see you after a while when them judges go up there. I'm on down. We also have the sanction team. Now, y'all are sanctioned. Tell me a little bit about what sanction means. Uh, sanction is uh, we go around uh, each city, uh, state. Uh, we go to Alabama, Kentucky, uh, Texas, Arkansas. And what it is, you uh, get points if you for whatever you top three. If you get so many points, you get to go to this, which is the Regis Championship, which, you know, you go against all the, people, all the best chili cooks in the world. Do you use the same recipe every time, right, everywhere right, you go? Right, right, And uh, the sanction is a little different from the open. Uh, there's no beans, uh, beef only. Uh, you know, you can't do anything like mushrooms or anything like that to try to get the judges to pick your chili. It just has to be basically meat and seasoning. No beans. No beans. No beans at all. No beans at all. We got beans in ours. You got beans in yours. <laughs> <laughs> Who is our little buddy here? He is. I seen this name tag. It says team member. You are a team member. This is uh, is our head cook right here. This the is head Brent. Is this your name tag? You want to show him your name tag? Check that out. Yeah, he's yeah. a team member. <laughs> what? Huh? Thomas. Oh, what is your name? Brent Kitchen. Brent Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Did you cook the chili today? No, sir. Did you eat any? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. <laughs> do you, is this your dad? Yeah. Do, do you go? Do you go with him when he goes to other places to cook his chili? Yeah. <laughs> do you know any words besides yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, folks, we're going to get back with the show. We're going to bring some other judge here in here in a little while, some more people for you to meet, but we're going to get back up here and let you folks get back to your booth. We'll be right back with more Southern Showcase. What a great way to spend your summer. Invest in a new above ground pool by the pool store in Park City, Tennessee next to the Piggly Wiggly. Don't waste your hard earned money on a one or two week visit out of town, especially when you can have a brand new pool. The pool store has over 35 years experience in the swimming pool business so you can keep your whole family in the backyard. The pool store can make an old pool look like new and keep your pool in tip top shape by providing weekly maintenance service. They can make your pool sparkling clear while you lay back and enjoy. To keep your pool sparkling clear, the pool store has fresh, new, and easy to apply Baclaseal and chlorine products. Also, to help you enjoy your pool, come see our full line of swimming pool accessories. The Aqua Bug is the simplest, easiest, and of course the cutest way to clean a pool. Come in today for courteous professional individual assistance. Don't forget, fun in the sun is our business. And, folks, we're back with some more of our guests from the Chili Cook-Off booth up in the uh, cow barn up here. And tell me who you are and who you're representing. I'm Jackie Brad, and I'm with Glacier Mist and In Designs, and we're doing the hottest chili again this year. It's our second year. Last year we came in and had a really good time, so good charity, and we wanted to come back and do it again. Tell me a little bit about this challenge. What goes on? How does it work? Well, what we try to get you to do is eat the chili in five minutes. Then you have to sit for five minutes, and if you can go without drinking water, you want a T-shirt and some water. If you break, you have to pay for the water and you get no t-shirt. <laughs> so, how many t-shirts y'all gave away today? I don't, I've been up here for a little while, but we've given away quite a few, and uh, actually the women are doing a little better than the men. Really? The men are kind of sweating it out. Oh, no, now wait a minute, wait a minute. And, and we couldn't get right you to try there. any. Now, you ain't going to get me to try any either. <laughs> I've done seen too many people sit there and sweat. Well, we'll give you a good bottle of Glacier Mist when you get through sweating it out. I've seen a lot and of a really great t-shirt. Jeff and them did a great job. That is a great, it's a beautiful t-shirt. And we yeah. had a lot of fun last year. And actually, last year was our first year. We won three competitions. We got uh, Best Show. We got Hottest Chili. And then we got, ironically enough, we got third or fourth in the, in the sanction. So we got points last year. Oh, really? So we could actually compete in designs, and Glacier Miss could actually compete. Well, that's great. I heard Jeff say the other day that he didn't want to hurt nobody. He just wanted to see a grown man cry. That's pretty much how they feel, <laughs> yes. And Jeff didn't eat a lot of it. Not so, 
Well, we appreciate y'all coming well, out and being you. a contestant. And getting we appreciate it, and it's a really good cause, and we want to do anything we can for the Literacy Council. Well, thanks a lot for coming out. Who we got over here, man? Uh, my name is Troy Long, and this is my daughter, Katie Ray. Hey, Katie, how you doing? Can you say can you say other words besides yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, too. <laughs> Troy, what all you got going on up here, man, in your booth? Uh, well, I'm here trying to sell uh, patio homes in Fayetteville, Tennessee. I've got a 53-unit uh, development going on over here at Terry Edition off of Morton Drive. Uh, I've got construction approval, and I'm starting uh, construction when the weather breaks and all that, you know, how that goes. Well, all right, man, all we're, right. We're doing pre-sales now. Um, we're gonna we're doing anything from 1,400 square foot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a this client calling now. Right now. <laughs> he heard this on live on TV and wants you to build him something. Man, it, it, that guy that just <laughs> called me couldn't have had better timing. I'll just tell you. <laughs> this is this is like an IRS commercial or whatever. You get money back and he goes in and sees it. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bill Malone thinks I talk on the phone too much anyway, so that suits him, you know. But we're gonna have a, a community. We're gonna have a, a clubhouse. That in two years, everybody will have full uh, use of it with an in-ground pool and everything like that. Well, all right. And the only other thing I can tell you is that I've started a barbecue place in town behind the Tobacco Express. And um, we're, we're going to be the call-in pickup place. we got chicken ribs and pork, and the number is 433-8080. All right. And they got a chili booth right up here in the barn. That's right. We won People's Choice uh, two years ago, oh, really? so maybe we'll... Uh, Maybe we'll come through again this year. I've heard good stuff, and we got some beer bread, man. That is awesome. Well, we'll have to go up there and try it out. All right. Come see us. Folks, welcome you all to the show. I'm glad you come out to be part of the Chili Cook-Off of the Literacy Council, and we're going to hear another word from our sponsors and come back and talk to some more folks. So we'll be right back with Southern Showcase. <laughs> There was a time you could walk into your bank and speak directly to the people who make the decisions. But these days, that's hard to find. Decisions are usually made out of town by someone you'll never meet. That's where the Bank of Lincoln County is different. We make our own decisions. The Bank of Lincoln County, Lincoln County's only home-owned and home-operated bank. The Bank of Lincoln County, just like home. The Bank of Lincoln County, member FDIC. And folks, we're back with the show with some more guests. We've had a great show tonight. We got to meet a lot of people, find out a lot about the day's activities that went on down here at the fairgrounds and uh, how it all come about, what all took place. And we got some more guests here tonight. What's your name? I'm Jerry Dale Atkinson from Jamestown, Tennessee. Now, uh, you're going to judge the, no, you did judge this morning, right? Yes, I judged the uh, hot pepper pageant. And are you judging in the chili too? Yes, I'm getting ready to um, go judge the chili. Are you going to try the hottest up there? Sure. Yeah, okay, you're on your own, girl. <laughs> this, uh, you also you do a lot of judging. Now, don't you judge baton twirler or don't you twir twirl a baton? Yes, I judge national level competitive baton twirling. I'm a gold seal judge with drum majorettes of America. I'm getting ready to go to Daytona Beach, Florida. Daytona? What are you judging down there? G uh, national level elite twirlers. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's great. Glad you come out. and Help us out with the literacy, and it's a great cause, and it's people like you that you know, dedicate your time to come out and make it all worthwhile and make it all go down all day. I was uh, very glad to come out and help support the Literacy Council and uh, help out for a good cause. All right. Well, be careful up there in the barns after a while with that hot chili. I'll be careful. I've seen some people do it. It's warm. <laughs> hey, I'm a southern girl. <laughs> all right. I'll check with you later and see what you say. All right. <laughs> Our other guest tonight, what's your name? I'm Stuart Stanfield. Where are you from? I'm from Henderson County, West Tennessee. Now, you are a big role part of the adult education, right? Yes, I supervise an adult education similar to what Lincoln County has in Henderson County. We've got about 25,000 people. We have about 200 to 300 students in our program, a smaller program. Mm -hmm. So uh, it all kind of fits together, adult education literacy all over the state then, right? It does because just like Commissioner Neely with the, the Department of Labor said that I think it's 1,250,000 adults here in, here in Tennessee need their GED, and that affects our labor market, our ability to get and keep higher paying jobs, get people benefits, insurance, retirement plans. And in our county, we've been real successful too. I know we had a challenge earlier said that some of the counties 
weren't stepping up. So I wanted to say that uh, we do. And we have, uh, when I first started in our program, we had 60% of adults did not have a GED or high school diploma. And now in the 2000 census, over 70% do have a GED or high school diploma. But now we're dealing with the special populations of literacy, English for speakers of other languages, uh, learning disabled, people that are just really functionally illiterate. So we're really working hard on those people. That's why literacy fundraisers like this are really so important. Yeah, it really is. And we appreciate all the work you. that you, all y'all do all over the state and, and uh, the support that you give everything. And I'm here to try to steal what's so successful in Lincoln County's fundraisers. We're trying to steal this idea to take it back to Henderson County because we've all had budget cuts and severe budget cuts just like here in Lincoln County, we're all suffering because the federal dollars and state dollars are going to uh, for 10 care and yeah. battling wars, homeland security. So we really need your help. Well, all right. We appreciate you coming out and helping us out with the day's activities. Thank you very much. Folks, we're fixing to have to wind up this week of Southern Showcase. And I want to tell you now, please support the Literacy Council and the Adult Education. And, and folks, please take note if you know back years ago you had to quit school you had uh you know you had problems at home you had problems in your life or whatever you had to quit school that doesn't mean it stops there that doesn't mean you cannot go back and get your ged and get an education you can get a job they've got computer classes you can do much more with your life than you think you can by just getting your ged and go back and get your education and, and just take advantage of it. It's there. Go do it and get a good job and, and, and support a, a good family and just have a good life. You can do that. Don't give up just because you had to quit school. And uh, with that, we're going to have to get out of here, and we appreciate all y'all coming down and all the guests we had tonight. We appreciate everybody coming down and being part of the show. And we're going to get out of here, and we'll see you next week on Southern Showcase. And take us out, guys. Mustang, Mustang.